Bluebeard burned everything. I tried to stop him, but I got here too late. He wouldn't listen to me. Threatened to strangle me if I got too close. There was nothing I could do. Honest! It's not your fault, Buffkin. I should have come here first. Didn't think Bluebeard would mess things up this badly. Something here I could use to find him. There isn't now. What a waste of fucking time. What now? Did you find any information about the witch at the trip trap? Just this. I don't know which one she is, but it's a start. Maybe I can find more at the Tweedle's office. It's worth a try. I'd better go fill Miss White in on the circumstances. She's going to be very disappointed. Good luck. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've, uh... Seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or Dumb? They, they aren't, they're in here right now. I'm not sure when they'll be back. Did you make an appointment? Have you seen a witch come by? Um, I don't know. Sometimes. Really? But who is she? Do you know where she lives? Uh, I don't know her name or where she lives, really. She just sometimes drops stuff off for the brothers to deliver. Deliver to who? I've never had any reason to see for myself. Sorry. It's been a, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. He said I was just in the way. But I like it here. Gotta stay busy, you know? Otherwise... Well, it's nice working here anyway. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure. Thanks. No problem. I'm gonna have to take a look around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Right, you're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Don't worry, I won't get you in trouble, all right? Right. Let's see if they've got a file on Crane. Find anything? Not what I need. Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. What's that about? They do have their quirks. <sighs> I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but... They aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. I guess they have to be in their line of work. Dee always tells me you have to be assertive. How do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way Dee explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes, they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? 
You mean for people other than the witch? Oh yeah, all kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Anyways, I'm just saying, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, flycatcher. Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Dunn. Couple of freaks. <sighs> this is pointless. See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. Just, just trying to make an honest living. I haven't found anything yet. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great, they helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. You know about this? Uh, no. in debt to the crooked man? Shit. Detective Brannigan? Keep an eye on her. Ichabod Crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How was he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Crane hired them to look for a photo? Why did he want it back so badly? So that's why they were at her apartment, and the woodsman's place. What if, what if you're wrong about them? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but I just wanted to say, you know, give them a chance. People can surprise you. Is that what you think? Bigby? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything because to... Because they're lying to you, okay, Flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. They shot at Snow White. Bigby, what happened to your... You want to know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns! I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, 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 I didn't know. Holly and Gren both got injured. Snow White nearly got her head blown off. Do you get it now? <sighs> I, I, I didn't mean to... There's a door behind this file cabinet. I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Well, that key you found should work.
Wow. I'm sorry, I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Ichabod Crane. Who was he sending money to? Crooked man. Care of the Lucky Pawn. You know what that is? Is that what you needed? I don't think so. But it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need to find that witch, though. What are you looking for, exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane. Or the witch he was using. Something. Butcher? What is this stuff? J.D. A book. This doesn't really tell us much. Hold for BCW. Hmm. man for your collection what is that no idea pretty sure it's something they aren't supposed to have this isn't the witch though hey Bigby, do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the Woodlands? Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, but I don't think I want to now. I don't want to work with bad people, you know? You and Snow, you're nice. You should talk to Snow. Maybe there's something she can do for you. Really? That would be, thank you. It's Snow's hair. Snow White? Why w We found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Auntie Greenleaf. This must be the witch Crane was using. I guess Dee and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? That's not a pleasant thought. Auntie Greenleaf? A.G. This is it. Is there a phone around here? I need to call Snow. Right over there. Thanks, Fly. Business office? I know who she is. Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Sorry about that. Is something wrong? 
I don't think I've ever seen you before. Well, pardon the intrusion. I wasn't aware this was a munchkin's house. Well, Dorothy, it isn't. <laughs> Sharp kid. <laughs> Dorothy's a girl's name, you know. And, uh, if I was any less secure in my manhood, I might take it as an insult. What's your name? Rachel, what's yours? Just so we're not strangers. I'm Bigby. This is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um, is there anything you need? I'm not allowed to let people in. Is your mother at home, currently? I don't need a babysitter. I can cook dinner all by myself. Is there... Something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Maybe come back in the morning. Snow, can you just do something here? I, I never have any idea what to say to these people. You mean children? <sighs> do you mind if my friend here takes a look around? I promise we'll be quick so you can hurry back to bed. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Snow, I'm gonna trust your friend not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. Look for anything unusual. Yeah, like Crane. He could still be here. That your mom? Uh-huh. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Your mama hunter? Oh no, she never. That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. No one's been over all night, so... He's I'm... just going to check. It'll only take a moment. Where do you buy your clothes? At a store? Oh, my mommy makes all of mine. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. I saw a spider over there yesterday. Oh? It was a pretty one. Do you like broccoli? Not really. I love it. Nothing that looks like Crane was here, either. Nothing? See? How much longer do you think it'll be? Do you have any pets? Not technically. Birdman, anyway. Just a guy. I 
can have my mom call you later or something. Sometimes when I concentrate, I a butcher. What's that? A package having to do with someone called the butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's office. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I tried. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. I don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I'm already grounded. Just put it back exactly where it was, please. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me. The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. when you do it that fast. What? Not sprightly enough? Why Rachel? Why the little girl? I don't think that's any of your business, Wolf. Why? How about because it works? That's why. I'm good enough for you? Even worked on you? Didn't know you had a soft spot for children. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a deer. Not that. Please, Greenleaf, just help us catch Crane. That's all we care about. That's not all we care about. Snow? You were nicer than I thought you would be when I was her. But if I help you, I can promise that help will not go unpunished. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could Don't go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love Die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but please, don't do this. Snow, it's too much. We can't ruin this woman's life over this. Ruin this woman's life? It's a slap on the wrist compared to what she's done. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here and he left. 
He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Don't. Okay, well, I guess I see where I stand with you. All right, let's go. Hey, Greenleaf. Don't think this is over. I won't. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Sheriff, is there something more I can help you with? Decided you want a taste of the wares? Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Where's Crane? Ichabod Crane? What would that nerd have with a place like this? Tell me what you know. Hey, you can't just go in there. We have a problem. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please. She can't help. I know you know what the plan is. I won't be held accountable for this. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I... You both know what's going on. Just tell me. Oh, my God. Big B. Wait, don't. Do anything, I promise you, I didn't do anything. These girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I ju just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all, please. I'm innocent, completely, completely innocent. It's just, just let me show you. Ah! Wait, I can't. You have to just give me the chance. This will work! I assure you! Everything will be solved! I... I went to the... You... Damn you, come on! Please! Tell me who killed her! My lips are sealed. Years. What? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just... I... It just... Oh, God! <laughs> we found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know. That's... That was... I just... I just love you, Snow. I love... I love you, and... And I'm sorry I'm not Prince Charming, okay? I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough not to put his stamp on the world like that. He's a disgusting coward, not a murderer. Thank you, my dear. It means so much to... Shut up. Don't talk to me. Okay, okay. We've been chasing this guy. Just... 
Why now? Because look at him. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fable Town, of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this... Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? He thought he was being framed. And maybe he is. This fuck-up knows more than he's saying. I don't. I don't! Uh, yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? You know, when I saw you come back here, I thought this was over. Now, I know, and I'm sorry, but if the killer's still out there, I want to know who it is. This whole thing is bigger than Crane. He wouldn't have the stones to send the Tweedles after me. Somebody else is involved. Well, shit. I didn't intend for any of this to get so... You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses, but as of right now, you're coming with us. You are extraordinarily lucky Miss White was here to save your ass. As if it was up to me, you'd have your head swinging from the Washington Bridge. Okay, Sheriff, that's enough. This can't be Greenleaf again and again, behaving however you like, acting without constraint. You have to respect this office, Bigby, and you have to respect me as its leader, starting now. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. If I maybe took a little something back in return, then so be it. I have no regrets. Yeah, see, the thing of it is, we're better at this than you are. <laughs>